most people are scared about kidney disease. Now let me tell you one good news. There are only two treatments which are available for you. One is dialysis. As you can see here, this is a dialysis machine. The patient has to undergo dialysis. Now, what do you mean by dialysis? Whichever way you look at it, whether it is dialysis or transplantation, it is not an easy thing. Each dialysis costs several thousand rupees. The transplant is costly. You have to get a kidney from somewhere. That kidney has to match. The transplantation has to take place. You must find the money to do that. And the transplant should be a success. It should not be rejected. All these factors you have to take it into account. So, once you do the transplant, your kidney function becomes normal. But, remember, if you control your diabetes in the first 10 to 15 years, another 15 years you may get a lease of life. Unfortunately, people don't get symptoms. Hello everyone, I am Dr. V. Mohan. Welcome to the next video in my channel related to videos on diabetes. I've been going through many of the comments and the questions which you have very kindly posted in the comments section. And one thing is just repeatedly coming up and I can understand where you're coming from and your anxiety is about diabetes and kidney. Every other day somebody posts, sir, please talk to us about diabetes and kidney. Why are people so afraid about kidney? Well, to be very honest, if kidney failure occurs due to diabetes, it is one of the costliest complications of diabetes. Think about it. If your eye is affected, you might need some laser treatment or maximum a surgery. That's it. Over, with that, it's over. Heart attack. Okay, if you have a heart attack, you go to hospital, they treat you, they may put a stent or they may do bypass, maximum. Finished. After that, you are like got a new heart. N nerve uh, complication or foot complication. Worst scenario, you might have undergo a small amputation or something. After that, you can uh, lead a normal life. Is diabetic kidney disease like that? Unfortunately, it is not. Diabetic kidney disease, if it leads to what we call as end-stage renal disease, ESRD. That is when the serum creatinine goes very high, blood urea goes very high, and we call it as EGFR, Estimated Glomerular Filtration Rate or EGFR. If that starts going down, normally it's above 90. Below 60, we say early kidney damage, this EGFR. 45 to 60 is about moderate kidney failure. If the EGFR goes to 30, it is severe renal failure. But when it goes to 15 and below, we call it as end-stage renal failure. And once you enter that end-stage renal failure, the bad news is that there are only two treatments which are available for you. One is dialysis. As you can see here, this is a dialysis machine. The patient has to undergo dialysis. Now, what do you mean by dialysis? Your blood is connected to the machine. It purifies your blood, takes out all the toxic substances, the waste products, and gives you the fresh blood, the purified blood. That is a process of dialysis. It's like filtering your blood or purifying your blood. Now, what's the problem with that? There's no problem with it. And there are many people who are on dialysis for a very long time. But the problem is that you have to do it three times in a week, usually. Sometimes two, but usually it's three times in a week. Each dialysis costs several thousand rupees. Even in the cheapest center, dialysis center, if you go, 
it is still quite expensive. And we go to the more expensive ones, they are very, very expensive. So three times a week, you have to shell out these thousands and thousands of rupees and multiply that by four for your monthly cost. Multiply that by 12 and you can work out the cost per year. And the problem is not even that. If you stop the dialysis, you may even die. Okay. So how long is a dialysis for? Unless it's some acute renal failure condition where you have one or two dialysis and then you're cured. I'm talking about chronic renal failure due to diabetes. It is lifelong. Unless you find a new kidney, a donor, and somebody is able to do a renal transplant as shown here, where you are getting a new kidney. A donor gives a kidney. A live donor can also give somebody who is uh, your relative, close relative, you can match the same blood group and other tissue matching is done and they give you a kidney or from a dead body, we call it as a cadaveric donor. Now, transplantation, in a sense, is better than dialysis because once you do the transplant, your kidney function becomes normal. But remember, you've got somebody else's kidney in your body now. The body will try to reject it. And to prevent that rejection, you have to use what is called as immunosuppression. These drugs which you use, immunosuppression, has to be taken lifelong again. They are costly. The transplant is costly. You have to get a kidney from somewhere. That kidney has to match. The transplantation has to take place. You must find the money to do that. And the transplant should be a success. It should not be rejected. All these factors you have to take it into account. So, whichever way you look at it, whether it is dialysis, or transplantation, it is not an easy thing like going and doing one laser or an injection in the eye. It is not so simple. And that is why most people are scared about kidney disease. Now let me tell you one good news. Recently I was reviewing some papers of different countries where, very developed countries, I don't want to name the country, where they have managed to keep almost all their people with diabetes under good control. And guess what? Among those who had a HbA1c level below 7%, not a single one had kidney problem. Not even one person had kidney problem. So the answer is very simple. As long as you're able to keep your sugar under control, your diabetes under control, your HbA1c test, a three months control test, is kept below 7% right from the beginning, from the time you are diagnosed, and the first 10 or 15 years are very important. Because if you control your diabetes in the first 10 to 15 years, another 15 years you may get a lease of life. Unfortunately, people don't get symptoms, so they stop treatment. So what happens? The sugar is uncontrolled for 10 years, 15 years. Then they come to us and say, doctor, now somebody tells them, your kidney is slightly affected, your eye is slightly affected. They get scared. Now they come rushing to the diabetes specialist and they say, somehow save my kidney, somehow do something. Whatever we do at that stage, it's very difficult to prevent the kidney from going downhill. Because the first 10 years, we call that as the golden period in a person with diabetes, his or her life. If you miss that golden window of opportunity of the first 10 or 15 years, you can stand upside down, you can do whatever you want, you can go to the best diabetic center, you can take the costliest medicines, you can take insulin how many ever times you want, but the kidney failure will continue to occur. And slowly, you may delay it by a few years, you may get four or five years grace time, but eventually it will end in renal failure. So, don't think I'm telling you something negative. I am telling you the facts of the matter. Now, I'll tell you the good news. Among my patients who have come for regular treatment to our center, the incidence of kidney disease and of kidney failure is very, very, very small. Less than 5%. These 5% of people seem to have some genetic trait something which makes them more prone to get kidney disease. And that's why a few people, exceptions are always there in medicine. I always used to joke and say 
that if you say 2 plus 2 is 4, that is only in mathematics, not in biology. In biology, 2 plus 2 can be 4 and half also. 2 plus 2 can be 3 and half also. 2 plus 2 can be 4 also. Sometimes by fluke, it can be 4 also. But very rarely it is 4 in biology. Meaning that if I treat 10 patients using the same treatment, 5 will respond one way, 5 will respond in some other way. Okay? So that is how it is. So those exceptions you leave out. Barring that, people who have come regularly for follow-up, from the beginning kept their sugar under control, had some kind of diet control. I'm not saying never in your life you can take a sweet, don't do this, don't do that. I'm not saying that. I'm saying moderation in everything. Do some exercise. Keep your sugars under control. Very important, keep your blood pressure under control and your cholesterol and lipids under control. Take your medicines regularly. Go to your doctor regularly and you can forget about kidney disease. You don't have to worry about it because we will check it for you. We'll check it for you every three months, every six months, every year. We'll tell you what to do. The diet that we give you will be not just for diabetes, for kidney also to prevent that, for blood pressure also. So don't listen to some people on social media who tell you, don't take diabetic medicines, don't take BP tablets, they will kill you, they will damage your kidney, just the opposite. If you don't take it, then you are heading for kidney failure. So listen to your doctor, trust your doctor, take your disease seriously, first 10, 15 years, keep it under control and you can rest in peace, sleep happily, you need not worry about kidney failure. It will not affect you in your lifetime. I have got people who have finished 90 years of age and 100 years of age. They are all doing very well. None of them had kidney failure. And I want you to be like them. So I hope you like this video. Please convey this news to people that yes, diabetic kidney disease can be a deadly beast which can bite you if you don't look after it. At the same time, like you have a pet in the house, which is always with you. But does your dog bite you, the master? It is your pet. It's going to be with you all along. So treat your diabetes like your pet. Look after it like you'd look after your pet. And you will find that this disease will come with you, maybe for 40, 50, 60, 80 years, but it won't affect you in any way. It will probably help you to live a long and healthy life. So my very best wishes to you. Thank you.